Now, as Darren was just saying, this is the first time President Trump has been back in Michigan since June. Now, we are joined now live this morning by Republican National Committee spokesperson Liz Harrington to talk about the president's visit here. And Liz, there have been some concerns about this rally in Freeland today and if the thousands of people who are expected to be in attendance will be encouraged to wear a mask or not. What precautions is the president's campaign taking during this pandemic with this visit? Well, good morning. Absolutely, every precaution will be made, but we also think it's very important to give our citizens the choice uh, to gather if they so choose, because it's been a lot of months. We've learned a lot about this virus, and we think it's very important, unlike, unfortunately, Governor Gretchen Whitmer, to give citizens the option. They know uh, Americans are smart. They can make these choices for themselves. We will be providing masks if they choose to wear them. It will be outdoors, which we know there's very low evidence of transmission outdoors. So we think it's gonna be safe uh, and people were very excited to see the president today. Michigan Governor Rick Snyder, a Republican, said he was endorsing Joe Biden. Last night, President Trump blasted Snyder on Twitter. Uh, what sort of impact do you think this could have on the president's chances of winning Michigan and winning those crucial independent swing voters that will likely decide this election? I think Americans are looking for someone who actually brings results, and that's who President Trump is. And there are a few figures uh, in Republican establishment circles uh, who have left, but we've really seen a unification of the Republican Party like we've never seen. And we actually have brought in so many independents and disaffected Democrats who are seeing what's happening in the Democrat Party going so far to the left, adopting a radical agenda that really does not work for the American people. So we have seen so much enthusiasm and energy on the ground, and it's because President Trump delivers real results, like the USMCA. NAFTA was a failed deal that Joe Biden supported. Well, President Trump pr made a promise to get rid of that bad deal, and he delivered real results. That's going to help states like Michigan. Liz, I have to ask you your reaction, the RNC's reaction to the audio just released by journalist Bob Woodward of President Trump saying that he was deliberately downplaying the seriousness of the coronavirus pandemic. Well, the president was very open and honest about not wanting to instill panic and irrational fear, which unfortunately throughout this time we've seen the media hype up cases but not report the fatality rate. They've hyped up fear and hysteria saying we can't open schools and we have to listen to what the teachers union say, say when we know the CDC has actually reported there are more suicides and overdose deaths among teenagers than from the coronavirus. We know it's safer for younger people and certainly more risky to not open up schools. So I think we need a fair-minded media to report the facts. President Trump has always acted early. He took this seriously from the very beginning because that's why he shut off travel when Joe Biden mm -hmm. was calling that racist. And of course, two months later, he finally decided, well, I guess that was the right move. That's not leadership. That's not bold action. President Trump will always do the right thing for Americans and deliver real results like we've seen with the PPE the, uh, mobilization and the ventilators and the testing development that President Trump really delivered uh, throughout this pandemic. Thank you so much, Liz Harrington, uh, national spokesperson for the Republican National Committee. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And we will carry a live stream of the president's speech today. You can watch it at WXYZ.com, streaming on our Facebook page or on your favorite streaming device by searching WXYZ.